the oldest uh, book that we have of, uh, phar of uh, pharmacopoeia, which is a collection of drugs and their uses, um, is, is, is from China. And in that book, uh, they have shown, they have discussed the use of marijuana uh, for the treatment of rheumatism, menstrual cramps, even forgetfulness. And there's even like another book called the Ebers Papyrus from Egypt, and some people say that's even older, and that also mentions marijuana. But uh, if you go back, if you go to the modern times, like Western medicine that we have today, it really wasn't until the 1830s, um, 1840s, that uh, marijuana, or cannabis as it was called at that time, uh, made its entrance. There was a Western doctor named O'Shaughnessy, Dr. O'Shaughnessy, who was an Irish physician who um, actually, as a medical student, discovered the treatment of cholera by giving people intravenous fluids, hydration, which saved a lot of lives. Uh, and then he went to India and uh, laid down telegraph lines across co the country and was, not, uh, was knighted. But in the meantime, in the midst of all that, he learned from local healers about this cannabis uh, medicine and uh, was able to show that it could be used for tetanus and epilepsy, uh, even rabies he was experimenting with. And he published his, his results and brought cannabis back with him to, to England, uh, to the United Kingdom, and, and really it, it, picked, it picked up like wildfire. Uh, a lot of doctors were, were using it in, in, in their medicines. Even Queen Victoria's doctor, Dr. Reynolds, uh, prescribed it to Queen Victoria for her menstrual cramps. In the United States, from the 1830s to the 1940s, for 100 years, it was in our pharmacopoeia, our official United States book of approved drugs. Uh, lots of companies like Merck and Eli Lilly that you've heard of today and, and companies that don't exist today uh, had uh, cannabis or marijuana-based medicines um, that they produced and they put on pharmacy shelves. Uh, so uh, and at that time, they used it for the treatment of, of cramps and pain, some of the things that we still use are no marijuana is useful for today. Uh, but because of the politics and reefer madness and all of the um, issues around also other newer drugs coming on the scene, marijuana kind of fell out of favor and um, is really now uh, experiencing a, re a resurgence.